are back here. We're going to go into the winner's match. What a winner's match it is. Yes, yeah, no for kidding. Soki, this could be the finals of any tournament you in the whole world. You beat me to it, I was about to say. This might as well be uh, one of our GSL Codex finals. But that's the state of the GSL now. Uh, it's crazy. We have games like this just here in the round of 16. Now, the loser is going to go on into our fifth, fifth best of three. So whoever loses this is not out yet. Um, map is going to be Overgrowth. Zest against Sulky. I'd say these guys have much more similar styles than a lot of the other uh, PBZs we could have asked for. These guys are both very strong in the late game. Mm -hmm. They have very good openers that allow them to uh, get into proper position in the mid game. So these should, they're both pretty full it, players. Yeah, it, it should be uh, probably a pretty long best of three, I think. It definitely with could play be. play styles like this. Yeah. But when you're both this good, you may decide you want to cheese each other as That's well. That's very true. Uh, it's all about having the right builds against the right players at the right time on the right maps. Game number one now with Zest against Soul Keep. In the bottom left here in the teal, he is. KT Roaster Z, Jusongo. Oh, nice Mortal Kombat style. <laughs> like a little guy in the uh, in the far right. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Running from a swarm host. Uh, in the upper right, in the red, our Zerk player, he is. SK Telecom T1 Soki, Kim Min Chan. What a treat this group is here today. It certainly is. This is better than an ice cream sundae. <laughs> We've got a lot of art in the audience here today. Yeah. Look at that. Well. <laughs> hey, look, it's a picture of a dog. <laughs> it's actually a pretty good uh, drawing from the uh, StarCraft. I like that. I love that uh, animated series. I think everyone does. Well, it's funny and it's so cute, you know? Yeah, yeah. I Perfect like balance. Stays, like modern on what's going on. <laughs> you need a bigger phone. All right, and now we uh, are just going to see these two guys uh, go to Expo Builds. We have three bases here for the Zerg against the two base for Protoss. Nobody's going to hurt anybody early on. No, certainly not. The double hatch before pool. You know, he did drone scout to make sure that that would be okay. Whereas Zest doing as greedy as you can do as Protoss. This is the ultimate greed versus the ultimate greed. Oh, he's going to steal a gold mineral while he's out. <laughs> Zest is going to get over there and expand and be like, so no! <laughs> That is optimized scouting, though. When you have a drone out like that, you might as well just take the gold mineral, send it back. I guess so, yeah. yeah. Bring home we saw brain. that We saw that technique used a lot more uh, on the maps where there was always a gold base in the middle. Yeah, certainly. And faking a cannon rush that would never, ever occur. Well, I think if he was going to do a cannon rush, he might not want to put the pylon there. When I saw that pylon, I think I would, if I was Silk, I'd want to like cancel my pool and build another hatch in front of the probe. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh yeah, you're gonna can rush me. <laughs> Here's another hatch. <laughs> now, you know, let's talk about this group um, for a second. Shine underperformed compared to what his role was in our narrative here in the group. Um, we were thinking maybe he was gonna beat Sulky. Well, he's someone I never think is even gonna get through Code. A. Because he's like such a cheesy guy and stuff, and so sometimes he's gonna yeah, look like that. Yeah, but I mean, you know better than that. I mean, like we've seen so much cheese. Oh no, I don't. <laughs> don't you tell <laughs> me what I know better than? <laughs> we've we've seen so much uh, cheese have success. I mean, MVP wouldn't be here if cheesing wasn't important. And the thing about Shine is, I mean, this guy cheeses better than anybody else than you could name. You know, I, it, he, cheeses he cheeses so more. much. He cheeses so much. We think, well, this can't possibly keep working. But yeah, yeah. And the thing is, sometimes it does fall flat on his face. We saw that. Like he just. But as of late, Shine's been consistently pretty deep, considering. Yeah, I mean. I mean, it almost makes me want to reevaluate. Considering he can macro, that's what's weird about it. If you put a, I think I would uh, not like him as much as you don't like him if he couldn't macro. Where I'm like, damn. But 
Then he does macro sometimes, and he looks pretty yeah, good. He's, so he's that's what's weird about it. Occasional, pretty solid macro games, which is what scares me. Um, but I mean, you put a hundred monkeys in a room with type raiders for a hundred years, and you're gonna get this is the Shakespeare um, thing. <laughs> you know, you're gonna get like you're basically gonna, you're a, gonna get a, a player who can <laughs> who can uh, <laughs> cheese every game, and then. <laughs> Sometimes have streaks to playing really well and do macro games as well. I guess sometimes, but I mean, Shine. We'll see if he can make it out of the group. I think we're still waiting for that hundred hundred year old monkey to enter into Kodas right now. <laughs> if we could just get them to live long enough. <laughs> if there was a player that was already in Kodas at some point that was a hundred year old monkey, who would it have been? It would have been Nesty, right? Like <laughs> for sure, hundred year old. <laughs> well, uh, we have the eight lanes being made. Robotics tech coming up here. I believe he was banking the Phoenixes. Yeah. He has not um, released them just yet. Well, I think he's, he's releasing got three now. now. Yeah, here we go. All right. Well, I think he timed that out so that they'll get there around the same time this Overlord gets to see that he's going Stargate. And this is going to yeah. throw Sulky quite a bit off. He's going to be able to do a lot more harassment damage. With now, him. there's no cannon here. So he does manage to take out. Oh, nice. He's going to get this uh, sentry here as well. Uh, gonna have to use a couple lifts there, unfortunately. But you know what? He defends all this just fine. Oop, didn't quite get him. Yeah. Quite four, four is that lucky to... number. Yeah, uh, that's right. Normally not a lucky number, though. No, most of the time not. Four are probably the... Especially not in this country. Yeah, four, that's true. Unlucky in Korea. Floor in fact, F the, a lot of times I was about, Yeah, I was about to say, that's actually the floor of my apartment. Is on floor F, not floor four. Yeah. I hit the F button in my elevator, guys. Yeah. So, uh, five Phoenix is out now, and uh, actually a sixth one just now popping out. So, getting a little bit more Phoenixes than uh, we've seen some Protoss players go for. Mm -hmm. And while he's moving out, it looks like he's interested in at least driving out Zerg Presence on the soon-to-be third base for Zest. Yeah, he's, he's got to get those Roaches out of there. You know, he's doing a great job with these Phoenixes. He's slowing Sulky down. He's able to really keep tabs on what Sulky's doing, which means he can probably take a pretty quick third here. And uh, with the Overlord now being driven out, this Ling would uh, like to take out the uh, Pro before he can get the Nexus. I don't believe that's going to be happening. Damn, he's got some good control, though. Mm. Uh, so there goes the Nexus, and he'll make a pylon with a gateway wall around there uh, now. He just has to keep his probe safe. I think with the Zealots hugging that, if he does this just right, he should be okay. Yeah, I don't think he's going to have to cancel. But actually, we have more Lings going down right now. So there is a possibility you'll be able to get it. Uh, might poke towards the front as well, just see where he's at, what he can get done. That is interesting that he made six Phoenixes, by the way. Yeah, it's not common. Yeah. Now, I know he didn't get the probe here. It looks like he's going to go for that now. He does get rid of that probe, but the Zealots are being warped in here. Well, you know what, that, um, those roaches actually helped out a lot there. Against yeah, they themselves. really did. Now, it looks like Protoss barely uh, hangs on to this expansion here. Yeah, but we, you know what, if he didn't have that warping round of Zealots, he, he would have been in big trouble. He probably would have had to cancel, so uh, it, was a good, it was a good try by Sulky. I really appreciate that he went for it. Right now, he's going for uh, Hydras, though. Yeah, 10 Hydras actually out already here. Oh, wants to back out of here. It's definitely too many Hydras to take on. Well, and now Sulky has a, a pretty hard choice to make, right? He has to either go for an actual attack, or he has to take a fourth. And it looks like he's deciding on the fourth. I think that's a that's a good choice. And he does, you know, it's too bad because when you have Phoenixes out like that, that's usually one of the ways you can stop the expansion is just catching that drone. Yeah, very uh, You could pick it up and then even try to run around. Prince the Hydra's coming out and try to grab him again. But the fourth does go down, and that's a fourth that's tough for the Protoss to get, especially in the state the Protoss is in. Yes. The, this is not a mobile army. No, um, that, that, so it's a good choice there by Sulky to yeah. take specifically better, that one instead of the gold. Exactly. Better that than the gold because the gold, you know, there's a chance Protoss can walk out, poke it, uh, and then walk back. But that base at the upper left, I mean, that's just as far away as the main is uh, from the location between the second and third for the Protoss, which is where the Protoss' army is going to be. So that's a tough one to get. Uh, <clears throat> that's why a lot of Zergs do like this map uh, when you get to this phase of the game is because your fourth base is... Not in an obscure location. Mm -hmm. You just have the entire top lining of the map filled up with all your. Uh, it feels your very bases. safe. Yeah. Look at this. He continues to get a lot of kills. Uh, I'm really liking actually the six Phoenix play here because I, we can see that he really. Oh, whoa, 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 who
Um, uh, that's that's painful, but you know what? You're right. I like the Six Phoenix play too. It's really interesting it, and fresh. He, and he it's is, done he a lot. is able to get a lot. Yeah, a lot of drones. It's not one of these builds where he was trying to get queens or anything like that. And there's a lot of room for him to move around um, with those phoenixes. Now we do see the Hydra and Roach army coming down here. The question is, is Protoss prepared enough? We have a mothership core here. Uh, Void is not really that helpful against Hydras. Three Colossi, and I believe that's three sentries down there, unless I'm mistaken. Uh, yeah, I believe you're right on that. And by the way, with the, the Sixth Phoenix, you get 20% more lifts. Because you eventually run out of lifts when you're doing a good harass. Right. So just kind of an interesting little thing to It does about. delay an attack, for instance, like this. This attack might have come out a little bit quicker had not so many drones been killed. But the question is, does that matter? Let's see how he handles his attack. The way the gateways are placed, it's pretty good for the Colossi. Well, I don't think he's breaking through there, too. Yeah. So four Colossi plus Void Rays. Oh, yeah, nice time warp goes down. Yeah, you're not breaking through Zest right now, Sulky. You better go up to your hive tech. <laughs> Sulky uh, just staying back here. Because uh, as we can see, he's, there's not really much he can do. Uh, losing another Phoenix is now down to three Phoenixes. He's got to be careful not to overextend here. You know what? I think Sulky's just going straight up to Vipers here. And, you know, he doesn't really have a whole lot else he can do at the moment. But if Zest actually goes ahead and grabs uh, a Templar Archives pretty quickly here, He's going to have High Templars out to stop those Vipers, and his army is getting really, really scary. I'm feeling this one for Zest, Tasteless. Yeah, Zest is definitely playing the conservative route, and he's going to look basically unstoppable in this late game. I mean, look at this. This is so many Colossi. He's got the Stalkers with it. He's got the Phoenixes keeping the army uh, busy. So that when the Protoss actually gets up there, the uh, Zest can be in a very good position. I don't believe he has his Mothership Core with that army. I assume that's back at home. Uh, it used both its spells, so I think it just doesn't have energy right now. But uh, No, I think it's actually about to meet. I think it's right below this. Yeah. There it is. I don't so think he has enough energy for a recall or anything quite yet. So actually, this attack could do something. Problem, it though, is that I think this attack, he, if he does it right, he can go into the main here. Oh, whoa. Slow down. Innovation as a Protoss. Pulling the probes well. here. I, I, okay, I think he's actually going to go for a killing blow here. Yeah. Watch this. He's going to go. There's nothing up here. He can get the hatch, and he can go right up into the upper right. Meanwhile, get enough defense over there at his expansion. And if it's a base trade, he can make a nexus over there in the main uh, eventually. Well, it, oh, my oh God. Oh, my God. Is Colossi out of position here, losing two of them immediately. And with two Vipers out, that it may is cost not unreasonable that Sulky can hold yeah, this now. That may cost him the entire game. Yeah. Oh, there we go. And there's one Yang, and there's two Yangs. Thing is, he would sell three Colossus right now if those two hadn't gone out of position. So this is a huge moment. This actually, something as simple as that can cost you the game. Now he is going to get the Hive here, but let's see. The supplies right now, 141 to 150 or 149. Well, let's see if he can actually hold on. We and do have another Also, hit. Nexus was spared, by the way. Bottom oh, yeah. right. That's true. Looks like he had to run up, but... This is a lot of roaches, a lot I think of hydras that's, coming up. I think that's it, man. That's just well, sentries. This is or, uh, 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 stalkers, excuse me. You're right, that is stalkers. Uh, yeah, trying to got, blink back, it hydras. looks like, it does look like it. That's, wow, this has to be one that Zest is going to kick himself over. Yeah. For but like all year, it didn't, it he didn't doesn't make have, out of this group. It didn't have to be like this either. Now he's making more stalkers, but the stalkers are not particularly strong without the presence of the Colossi. <laughs> That's so funny. That was fantastic by Sulky. Wow. You know what? Zest played just <laughs> phenomenally until he like let those two Colossi go out of position. I think he would have won. But you know what? He might actually still win. There's only 18 drones on this map. Oh, Artosis. Great point. I didn't even see that. Yeah. And he did kill the high. I, I was so caught up with the fact that all those probes were pulled. Did he send them back or did they just die? The probes? I mean, he has 46 probes. But so I mean, and from the third, where did they end up going, dude? Did he send them up and then they, send them? They were part of the battle. They I all don't know died, and he I don't still has all of them died? 46? This can't. Could be. Not sure. I mean, it's. Well, here's the funny be. part. Yeah, I mean, Zest could still win because that probe difference is huge. It is huge. Also, keep in mind, Zerg did lose the hive. I don't know if he lost any critical tech. Well, just the tech to make Vipers, I guess. I think everything else is fine. He's still making Hydras. Oh, we do have some this is smart, just getting a few immortals here. 
Yeah. Zerg's stuck on this tier two right now. He needs anything he can get. He's not exactly sure how Sulky, how badly hurt Sulky is, right? That's what's like, funny about it too. I mean, some Protoss players might have even left the game after seeing their army get killed off, not knowing mm -hmm. that Zerg has only 18 drones. Yeah, it's the economy is really badly hurt for Sulky here, so. We'll see what he can get done. He does have these Vipers, which can be very cost-efficient in a time like this. But Zest kind of pushing forward. I think yeah, he has Zest. a reasonable idea that Sulky's kind of weak right now. Well, especially when you show an army like that, which is so scrappy. Mm. It's like two okay, roaches now he and really a knows. <laughs> yeah. He sees two Hydras rally up. That's how you know. Yeah. Oh, you're rallying two Hydras, Sulky? Yeah, I'm not afraid. <laughs> so he's going to send his spine crawlers over here. Now, there's a lot of ways that Protoss can win here. Protoss can try to stabilize. Protoss can start trying to harass. Hmm. I don't think that, that um, the second base, the location that, where the Hive was for Sulky, I don't think that's going to be reclaimed uh, for the time being. I mean, when you're down on drones like this, he's at 37, whereas uh, Zess is at 55. And again, losing a hatch there, that's a big blow to your production. That was one-fourth of his production. That's true. So uh, if you had more drones, it would make a bit bigger difference, and it will yeah. eventually again, because... But well, point. maybe not. He's not really adding that many drones. But I guess also, he's up 37. But. The other thing you got to keep in mind is that there's no incentive for him to take that third hatch if he's this low on drones, right? Mm -hmm. So now the Stalkers can come out. Now he's just going to get some storms here, and that's probably the best bet. Well, he's going to need High Templar because the bulk of this army is actually based off of Vipers. So no matter what, High Templars are the way to go. He doesn't okay. need Colossi. He needs High Templars for feedback and eventually size Storm. Oh, I like this. Bring that one up in the front. Yeah. So you pull that. That's like the Protoss equivalent of pull my finger. <laughs> That's the Protoss you equivalent You pull and it dies and it's like... <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Zerg's going to try to open up the uh, circulation here in the upper middle. He wants mobility on his side. Zest expanding again. Yeah, and he's, so Zest he's is just going really for super defense. Yeah. Thing is, has, how does uh, how does Sulky get into a position like this? Because he's going up to four bases. He's basically safe the whole time because Sulky has to rebuild his drones and his army, whereas the probe count was still pretty decent for Zess, and he didn't lose that third nexus, which is uh, quite a flaw there from Sulky, I guess. But he did need to bring his army up to actually kill that, so it's like hard to say. This one roach is going to find out uh, the situation here for Sulky. Headed down now. See, uh, <laughs> vu. Zest is gonna. <laughs> it's a glitch in the matrix. Okay, so he can confirm his own. He's thinking, oh my god, he has another base. How did this game turn out to be so weird? That's so funny because Arto says, you did a good job. I did not catch that actually that small number of drones was still left, especially after you see the probes pulled there. Yeah. So, oh my god, that GG. could not have gone better. That could not have gone better. The, the, the uh, feedbacks were just too good. Now we have roaches crashing into the rest of the stalkers. Yeah, this army from Zest actually looks like a real Protoss army. What Sulky has is the tattered remains of a beaten force. <laughs> I, I think Zest just pushes up again here. Uh, there's uh, This is actually a choose your own adventure uh, where Zest wins pretty much no matter what. He can end the game in so many different ways. Every page ends in Zest uh, <laughs> taking this probably. But yeah. Sulky, uh, you know, maybe if he gets the right engage on Creep, if he gets a really good pull or something like that, he can do it. But he's down to just one Viper. And one Viper can pull maximum really two Well, bosses. also, he's, uh, we have Zest going into DTs now. Ooh. So we can start sending DTs all over the map. Well, he's trying to attack this front area. Nice pull there. That was a good move. That was a really good move. But the Storm, when he comes down... Could be too much. Oh boy. Well, those were some really bad storms, but in the yeah. meantime, a big chunk of his army actually dies to the main army of Zest. Should probably blink on top of this here. Yeah, I would say so. And here comes another storm now, and there's plenty more that came from as he goes up here. Now he might just, due to the circumstance, end up hitting the base of the upper left. But no, he's going to go ahead and regroup here, probably tear up the uh, uh, creep colonies here. Creep well, tumors. Yeah. And just He's just making sure that everything's fine. You know, you may as well kill your creep on the way in. Uh, he's continuing to rally out more units. He knows he has a better economy. He knows he has a better army. No reason to, to overrush things. He's also getting very close to maxing out now. Mm. And of course, as we know, death balls get stronger and stronger the closer to max they become. Templar's in a funny spot. Yeah, they are. But I guess it's okay. They felt brave. Now they're mostly dead. 
Uh, well, that's it. Yeah, that's it. too much damage there. Really interesting game, though. GG. Uh, definitely a, a, a different one. I liked Zest's attack. The fact that he's like, no, screw it. I'll just go kill you now no matter what. You can kill my third. It's fine. Um, a really strong, strong army there. But letting those two Colossus get a position could have potentially cost him a game. Zest is looking untouchable right now. Um, because despite that, how that game went, where they both made a, a bit of a blunder there, mm -hmm. um, it was the fact that throughout that entire uh, game, even when the Colossi were being gunned down and everything, Zest was on top of it. He had his workers being made. I mean, that's a that's a big that's a big difference there. Whereas uh, Soul Cube did not protect his workers. Well, what map will we have next? Merry-go-round. That's that's the best choice, I'm sure, because you know Overgrowth already out of the picture. That's normally a pretty decent map for Zerg versus Protoss. A lot of Zergs like to choose it. But going into Merry-go-round, it's a hard map to take a third base as a Protoss. This may force Zest into a two-base attack against which uh, Sulky is quite good at defending. Well, Merry-Go-Round is one of our weirder maps that we have out there, also one of our newer maps. Uh, Zest, so far, has just won purely with good late game. You know, uh, And not, not many mistakes early on. Yeah. I mean, the you, funny thing is, in that last game, it's possible the game could have won, uh, been ended. Zest could have won had he kept those five Colossus alive. And just been in a good position. It's totally well, possible. Yeah, if he had, if he hadn't let the two claws walk inside, I think the game just ends there. Especially considering that after all that, he saw that many probe. Yeah. It's time to go into our second game here in this best of three. The winner between Zest and Sulky goes on to the round of eight first here in today's.